to not get caught. The manipulation and abuse of his power disgusts me. Now, she shared her story about being the victim of a former Youngstown track coach right before he was punished. Good evening, I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. This morning, a judge called Art Carter a father's worst nightmare for using his position as a coach and police officer to prey on young girls. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, one of Carter's victims told the judge Carter sexually abused her. As Art Carter sat with his attorneys, one of his three victims described in court this morning how the one-time high school coach and police officer drove her to an abandoned building for their first sexual encounter. How terrifying is that? The weight on my shoulders was instantly compounded. This happened at least three more times. The victim says she was a 15-year-old freshman at Ursuline High School when she first met Carter, who was the assistant track coach. She told Judge Anthony Diapolito Carter abused his position to manipulate her and avoid getting caught. He had it all worked out. Throughout the process, he had me delete text messages, change his name in my phone. He would do check-ins with me to make sure I didn't tell anyone. Although he was initially indicted on rape and other charges that could have brought a life sentence, Carter pled guilty in July to three counts of felonious assault. Prosecutors admit the agreement allowed the victims to avoid having to testify in open court. After speaking with the victims and the acknowledgement of a negative and hostile treatment of sexual assault victims in our society. When it was his turn, Carter apologized. I am truly sorry for any of my actions. Although both sides had recommended a lesser sentence, the judge said he couldn't go along with that, calling Carter a wolf in sheep's clothing. He then sentenced Carter to four years behind bars. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.